pour yourself a cold one and join us for an hour filled to the brim with fun. It hurts in my ears right now. Entertainment. Cheeky, cheeky, bang, bang. Information. I need some water and a washcloth. And a little weirdness. Can I be a duck? Yeah, I don't, I don't think they want me to be a duck. It's Happy Hour with DJ Kyle. Welcome to another edition of Happy Hour right here on Lake TV. I'm your host, DJ Kyle, and I want to say thanks to our sponsors, Ozark Barge and Doc. Doc's built tough since 1988. Check them out. Also, our veterinary making sure all of our pets are happy and healthy. Thank you for your support of Happy Hour. Also, our good friends at Sir Dyke Yamaha. They have year-round fun. You got to check out Sir Dyke, something for any part of the season at Lake of the Ozarks or anywhere you go. Also, our exclusive attraction of Happy Hour, which is Ozarks Amphitheater, and a special thanks to American Elm Company. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's edition of Happy Hour. Great show lined up. We have our veterinary is sponsoring our furry friends, and we have a couple cats named Chip and Dale. Might only be one left because I think maybe Megan might be uh, taking one of them home. Also, we have, uh, we're going to be visiting Kevin Hilly, uh, the talk of the town at the Chili Cook-Off. So uh, lots of laughs on the show today. I visit an expo and I end up taking a whole bunch of stuff home with me. It's going to be a fun segment. But up next, we talk to Kara Gerdeman with Kids Harbor and we find out all the great things that Kids Harbor is doing and a big event that they have coming up. That's all right here on Happy Hour, Lake TV. Breaking Benjamin, live in concert in Camdenton with special guests, Bush, and Another Day Dawns. See them live at Ozarks Amphitheater, May 11th. Get tickets now at ozarksamp.com. For more, visit breakingbenjamin.com. Get tickets now. Want a dock that will withstand the wake from a million boats? Want a dock that's different from the usual dock? Then you want Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravois Mills. Ozark Barge and Dock now celebrating 35 years of building the best dock on Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. So when it comes time to build your custom dock, trust the best and go with Ozark Barge and Dock. Building the best dock at the lake for the last 35 years. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the Polar Plunge. To festivals. Parades. Aquapalooza. And boat shows. Lake TV has it all, even the granddaddy of them all, the shootout. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've got to love Lake TV. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. 
Hi, I'm Kelly Miller, CEO at Central Ozarks Medical Center, and today I'm going to introduce you to our community health workers. My name is Jessica and I provide services at the Richland Clinic. My focus is assisting children and families connected through foster care and adoption and making sure that they have the resources they need. My name is Brittany and I work in the Camdenton Clinic. I assist the community by connecting people to medical, dental, and behavioral health care services. My name is Angie and I provide assistance at the Lori Clinic. One of my roles is to assist patients in determining insurance, eligibility through Medicaid and Marketplace. Hi, my name is Julie and I work in the Osage Beach Clinic. I specialize in helping people get Medicaid and answering all the questions that they have. My name is Desiree and I provide assistance at the Richland Clinic. We participate in community outreach events such as health fairs and back to school fairs. I'm Megan and I provide services at the Eldon Clinic. I support patients by connecting them to community resources such as energy assistance and diapers. Hello, my name is Kim and I provide a helping hand at the Richland Clinic. I support patients affected by social issues such as lack of food, transportation, housing, medication costs, and so much more. My name is Kelly. Whenever you speak with one of our CHWs, you will never be charged because here at COMC, your health is our mission. Hey everyone, Daryl Cunningham with Slumberland Furniture at the Lake. We're in the middle of our spring spruce up sale. What does that mean for you? That means savings for every room of your house. Also check out our tent, still have tons of great outdoor living furniture at a great price. At Slumberland, we're still doing interest-free financing along with our great deals. Come see us, Slumberland Furniture, where we're bringing happy home. Welcome back to Happy Hour. I'm your host, DJ Kyle, and today we have something very special for you. We're gonna be talking to Kara Gerdeman from Kids Harbor, and we have so much stuff to talk about today. So welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us, and thanks for the support. We really appreciate being here. I am I'm super excited because you guys have a, a big event that uh, is coming up, and we're gonna be talking about that in just a little bit. But why don't you tell our viewers what is Kids Harbor and what does Kids Harbor do for the community? Sure. So Kids Harbor, our mission is to prevent, to provide coordinated response, healing, and prevention of child abuse. We're both a place and a process. As a place, we're a safe, child-friendly setting where kids can come talk about abuse that they may have experienced and heal from that abuse through advocacy, forensic medical exams, and trauma-informed evidence-based counseling. Wow. As a process, we bring together law enforcement, children's division, juvenile officers, prosecutors, medical and mental health providers, all of those entities that are involved in the investigation of a child abuse case. So kids aren't having to go to each one of those places and tell their story and then go to the hospital and get an exam. Mm -hmm. We can do all of that at Kids Harbor. We minimize the number of times a child has to be interviewed. It doesn't replace them having to testify in court if, yeah. if the case goes that direction, but it does minimize the number of times that they're interviewed and it minimizes the trauma that they experience. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I feel like that would just reduce the, the amount of stress having to like, okay, now I have to go around and check mark everything and and more stress every time I have to go and you know relive this or, or talk about it. So so how, how does Kids Harbor, I mean, it, how, how does it work? Is, is, is this something that people could just come to you at any time? What's, this, what's it look like, like case by case? So typically our referrals come from law enforcement or children's division, sometimes from medical providers. Um, those referrals come in because we're, we're doing that as part of a, an investigation yeah. um, and to minimize the number of times that that child is, is interviewed. Um, so they come in through those referrals and we, we see them through that. We, of course, we have lots of times that family members will call us mm -hmm. and ask for information and yeah. what we need to do and here's what's happening. We'll absolutely walk them through that process and help them to understand what steps are next. And mm -hmm. it, it's just such a, it's a stressful time. Um, yeah. They're in crisis a lot of times. So helping them understand what, what the next step is and, and how they get to us. And then we also have have a fully functioning primary, secondary uh, prevention program for adults and for kids as well. That is really neat. Really making a difference in the community. And and I'm, I'm so excited to be a part of a big event that you guys have coming up. But first of all, with, with everything that you guys are doing at Kids Harbor, I'm sure that that takes a, an, 
amazing amount of people that are able to make it all work. So you guys, uh, are you volunteer base? Is, is it a little bit mix and match? And if so, do you need some volunteers? What, what's the staffing look like? So we have a um, full staff and our staff is all qualified to and, and really trained in tra responding to trauma and in evidence-based practices and things so that we can provide the best services to help kids heal. Mm -hmm. But we are always looking for volunteers. That's an essential part of our program and it's a requirement of a couple of our grants that we have volunteers and our volunteers help with all kinds of things. Anywhere from day to day, sometimes we need somebody to help answer phones or, yeah. or get the doors and, and let people in and get them where they need to be or even um, community events. There are so many community events and we love to be a part of that, mm -hmm. but we need volunteers to help us yeah. so that we can staff those booths and, and get there. Um, also to provide childcare, we have a parent education class that we do periodically um, and, and through that we need help with childcare, sometimes we need help with a meal, all that kind of stuff. I, so. I couldn't imagine the, the life-changing experience that it would be to volunteer for such a great cause and to to see people's lives changed and turned around and, and to be a part of the solution, if you will. I, yeah. I think that has to be amazing. How can people get involved in volunteering? Is this something that they fill out an application? Can they come in and see you? Do they check it out online? How does that go? Yes, to all of those things. <laughs> and we love our volunteers. Our volunteers become part of our, our family um, and they do get to, well, we see a lot of hard stuff um, and we deal with a lot of hard stuff mm -hmm. on a daily basis but our volunteers get to see kids that move through that process and, mm -hmm. and get to be there when kids are graduating from counseling and, and celebrating you know, how far they have come and, and all of those great things. And they get to represent us during uh, all of our, our, some of our fundraising activities and well, as well as those community events. So volunteers can, they can come by and give a, talk to us at, at Kids Harbor. Um, we prefer that they call and schedule an appointment just because we have a lot of families mm -hmm. in and out and we wanna make sure that we're protect, protecting the confidentiality of those families coming in and out. But you can also go online to our website, kidsharbormo.org and fill out an application there or give us a call and we can send an email to you with that and, and get you hooked up. Wonderful, so volunteers are needed for Kids Harbor and for all the uh, different events that they have going on and of course just the day-to-day -day activities. So um, let, let's move on to, you're wearing some blue right now because okay. April, and I kinda, it's a greenish blue, I don't know, it's maybe a, I don't know, seafoam green, blue, I don't know, but uh, April is the uh, Go Blue month, so tell yes. us a little bit about uh, what the dressing in blue in April stands for. Absolutely, so April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and every April we encourage everybody to go blue every Friday during the month of April. We have t-shirts that uh, we sell during the month of April. We've cut off those t-shirt sales, but we will have some extras at the office. Yeah. Um, and we just encourage everybody to go blue, Blue is the national symbol for child abuse prevention, and the blue pinwheel is the symbol for child abuse prevention. Mm -hmm. It represents the happy, healthy childhoods that all children deserve. You know, I, I love driving by those businesses, and you just see all these pinwheels out front, and you're going, what is going on? Do they have, like, bird problem out there? And then you see the sign that's, that's a, you know, April going blue, and I just, I love it. It makes me... Makes me happy to see the support that uh, that's poured out by uh, the community. So you guys have a wish list as well at yes. Kids Harbor. How do how do people know what you guys are in need of and how can they help out? So go online and check out our Facebook page. Also our website. We keep our wish lists on both of those. We also have an Amazon wish list that will um, you can go on, click, and find Kids Harbor and ship items from that wish list directly to us. Nice. It seems like we always need individually wrapped snacks and drinks. We have kids that come in hungry, they haven't mm -hmm. had anything to eat, and I, I don't know about you, but I don't function well when I'm hungry. So yep. that's me too. Trying to make sure that kids, especially when they're in crisis and things, that they're they're not feeling hungry. And, and sometimes we need to go get them lunch or mm -hmm. any number of things, so all of that helps. And not only that, but we're feeding the community. Let's talk about what we have coming up April 29th. 
the big barbecue bash at high tide. So yes. tell us about uh, kind of feeding the community and bringing the whole community together for a reason. Absolutely, so this is our one fundraiser a year. We have chosen to narrow things down and focus on one fundraiser and it's just a really fun family friendly day at high tide. High tide typically isn't open for kids and families, but they open the doors for us. And you know, usually the pools are open and we have mm -hmm. great music and amazing food that is just so good and we have great competitors for our barbecue bash so we're really excited about so the how, how many teams as far as the barbecue bash how many teams do you have right now so right now we have eight teams committed uh, okay. we have a few more that are on the fence that we think are going to commit and, and join us but you know it's always a lot of fun this year we've added a new competition uh, a new side dish we're doing mac and cheese mm. so all of our i think all but one of our competitors is signed up for that mac and cheese competition now do you have to own a barbecue restaurant to be no. there to so anyone like just i i like to barbecue at home i could absolutely oh. that's where the vast majority of our competitors have have come from uh, they are barbecuing at home and they're putting their challenge to the test. Yep. And our competitors have a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Um, you know they they talk some trash <laughs> and uh, leading up to the event and then you know during but they have a lot of fun. We always have a great time. So how could someone sign up to be involved with the barbecue bash and maybe bring their own barbecue and how does that work? So you can sign up at kidsharbormo.org and go in and select which, which category you want to compete in. Um, we have several, we do a pulled pork, uh, we do a Kids Harbor challenge, which the competitors don't know what the meat is that they'll be getting oh. to cook. Uh, and they won't know until they pick the meat up the week before the event or the week of the event. Oh, then they have to like, quickly come together yep. with some recipes. They have to, I like this. Last year it was brisket. Um, I know our competitors last year have said, we'd like something a little more diff little different, mm -hmm. unusual. So I don't know what it's gonna be. Mm. And, and we have competitors that are coming and asking us, hey, what's that gonna be? And possible. I can't tell you. You'll <laughs> no, know kidding. before it's, I it do. It might not be possible. <laughs> let's but, hope uh, it's not possible. <laughs> yeah, let's hope, fingers crossed. So uh, how can people get tickets to the Big Barbecue Bash and learn more information about it? So you can get tickets through our website, kidsharbormo.org. Um, find out all of the information there as well. Uh, you can also go to Central Bank. They have tickets and Redhead has tickets. And you can get them all there. And, and also the members of the iBerries, I yeah. think, have hey, tickets that's, as well. That's right. So the iBerries will be playing that day. Starts at 1 o'clock and goes until 5. And that's the high tide um, right up the hill from uh, Redhead uh, Lakeside Grill. So uh, make sure you check that out. It is happening Saturday, April 29th. And thank you so, so much Absolutely. for coming in here. I'm excited about me. raising money and raising the awareness for Kids Harbor and having some great barbecue. Absolutely, come early because we run out of food. That's right, it, it goes one to five or until the food runs out, so get there early. Thank you again for coming on the show. And uh, we'll, we'll see you on the 29th, it's awesome. gonna be fun. More happy hour coming up right after this on Lake TV. Want a dock that will withstand the weight from a million boats? Want a dock that's different from the usual dock? Then you want Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravois Mills. Ozark Barge and Dock now celebrating 35 years of building the best dock on Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. So when it comes time to build your custom dock, trust the best and go with Ozark Barge and Dock. Building the best dock at the lake for the last 35 years. The exclusive attraction of Happy Hour is Ozarks Amphitheater, and they have a great lineup of bands coming out this summer. First of all, I want to let you know, Thursday, May 11th, Breaking Benjamin with special guest Bush and Another Day Dawn's fantastic show lineup. Also, Friday, June 16th, we have the Avett Brothers with special guest Government Mule. You can get your tickets right now online at ozarksamp.com.
Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Lake TV's got it all. We think it's hot stuff when things cool down. We spring into action when things start warming up. Of course, summer is one big huge shootout on Lake TV. And we fall in love all over again when autumn rolls around. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Lake TV's got it all. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Hey everyone, Daryl Cunningham with Slumberland Furniture at the Lake. We're in the middle of our spring spruce up sale. What does that mean for you? That means savings for every room of your house. Also check out our tent. Still have tons of great outdoor living furniture at a great price. At Slumberland, we're still doing interest-free financing along with our great deals. Come see us, Slumberland Furniture, where we're bringing happy home. Hey guys, I'm David Leatherberry with Lake TV here on this gorgeous new set. Every weekend you can catch me on Weekend at the Lake with all the best information on events, parades, parties, just fun stuff to do at Lake of the Ozarks. We're on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 6, 10, 2, 4, 6, and 10. Hey, David, would you mind getting off the set? We're actually filming a show here right now. <laughs> Love you too, buddy. You know, Kyle, they say sharing is caring. Hey, we are here at the Lake West Business Expo, and there are so many great booths that are here. Everything, if you want a water softener, if you want a boat dock, if you want some work done on your house, everything that you could possibly imagine is right here, including groups and organizations to get involved in. But here's the other cool thing. As we've, as we've been walking around, I see, look, there's so many places that say, free, take one. So I'm just gonna see how many things we can possibly get here at the expo. So let's go see what we can find. Oh, wow, free stuff. Thank you, thank you so much. Is, it's a, is this free? Yeah, yeah. Oh, is, that, is, that, is, is that free? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. cool. That is awesome. Is, is this free? Pencils. I need a pencil. I think, oh, I think, oh, I'm getting some free stuff. There's, the, oh, look at this. I've needed one of these at my house. I think I need this at my house. Let's go. I think I need one in every color. I need an orange one. Who doesn't need a blue koozie? You, obviously, you gotta have a purple koozie. And if you're going out, what, St. Patty's Day, you might need two different color greens. Wow. I, this is, well that's pretty nice too. I think I'll take that. I think that's all I need. Oh, this is what I wanted. Is this free? It, oh, sorry. Oops. Sorry, I didn't get my stuff. Sorry about that. Hey, how are you guys doing? Hey, oh, ah. oh, good, good. Huh? Oh, no. oh, <laughs> that must have just, must have just got in my hand. You can oh. put all your important papers in there for your interns. Sounds good. Can I have one of those? Absolutely. <gasps> yes.
Hmm. Can't put my hands in my pockets for some reason. <laughs> I feel like I need a bag to put my things in, right? I'm just getting too many things. It's just so many. You gotta have a. A, a green oak star bank back. Uh oh, I'm dropping all of my things. All of oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, this, that's an important thing. That's chocolate. Hmm. Oh, you obviously, everyone needs a magnet. You steel wood or you, concrete and gave bodies to bury. Or oh, oh, sorry, I'm not stealing. I think it's free. They say it's free. Oh, all right, I'll take it back. Hey, ladies, the ladies, uh, they need your attention over there. Oh, hey, good, good. Free things, huh? Hmm. Take a truck. Ah, huh, free Wi-Fi. Yeah, it says it's free. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Hmm. Grass. I need some of this in my yard. Oh, to open it. To open my bottles, you gotta have one of those. And a, yeah, yeah, coaster. Yeah, oh, oh, it's a pencil. Yeah, you you gotta have a pencil. Like, everyone needs a pencil in their life. Yep, yep, a number two and, and a koozie. You can't have, is the candy free? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> you should help yourself to some candy. I think grandma always used to give me those. I should take one of those. Oh, and look, a picture. This would go so great in my living room, right above my couch. Shay's gonna love it. You're welcome, hon. I got us a new picture. It's art. <laughs> oh, I need one of these for sure. Oh, and a basket full of names. That'll, that'll go great in the living room. Thank you guys. It's time for dad jokes. What's that restaurant on the moon like? It doesn't have atmosphere. <laughs> oh, love free things. Santa Fe Springs RV Park. Free, free candy, right? Free candy. Oh, right, right. Oh, oh, this is the greatest free thing I've seen all day. Oh, this is gonna look great in my driveway. Where are the keys? They usually put them in the visor. Five out of four people admit they're bad with fractions. <laughs> That's five fourths. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> this is my last chance. <laughs> oh, get him! <laughs> That was awesome! Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see how this works out. <laughs> oh yes, I love it. Oh, I'm sorry. I love it, that's awesome. Yes, yeah, clip, clip it on somewhere. <laughs> oh, look at this. Mm. Are you getting free stuff? No. Oh, you should I mean, get free like, stuff. Shoot, I'm no DJ Kyle. They're not giving me nothing. I like your shirt, though. Oh, yeah, I know. Nice. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey, Chris got something. <laughs> yeah, I'll take as much as I can get. <laughs> oh, actually, while I'm down here, someone lost an earring. Oh, my God. Uh -oh. There's an earring there. 
Here, and take some pens, too. There you go. <laughs> Breaking Benjamin Live in concert in Camdenton With special guests Bush And Another Day Dawns See them live at Ozarks Amphitheater May 11th Get tickets now at OzarksAmp.com. For more, visit BreakingBenjamin.com. Get tickets now. Want a dock that will withstand the wake from a million boats? Want a dock that's different from the usual dock? Then you want Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravois Mills. Ozark Barge and Dock now celebrating 35 years of building the best dock on Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. So when it comes time to build your custom dock, trust the best and go with Ozark Barge and Dock. Building the best dock at the lake for the last 35 years. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the Polar Plunge. To festivals. Parades. Aquapalooza. And boat shows. Lake TV has it all, even the granddaddy of them all, the shootouts. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've got to love Lake TV. Hi, I'm Kelly Miller, CEO at Central Ozarks Medical Center, and today I'm going to introduce you to our community health workers. My name is Jessica and I provide services at the Richland Clinic. My focus is assisting children and families connected through foster care and adoption and making sure that they have the resources they need. My name is Brittany and I work in the Camdenton Clinic. I assist the community by connecting people to medical, dental, and behavioral health care services. My name is Angie and I provide assistance at the Lori Clinic. One of my roles is to assist patients in determining insurance, eligibility through Medicaid and Marketplace. Hi, my name is Julie and I work in the Osage Beach Clinic. I specialize in helping people get Medicaid and answering all the questions that they have. My name is Desiree and I provide assistance at the Richland Clinic. We participate in community outreach events such as health fairs and back to school fairs. I'm Megan and I provide services at the Eldon Clinic. I support patients by connecting them to community resources such as energy assistance and diapers. Hello, my name is Kim and I provide a helping hand at the Richland Clinic. I support patients affected by social issues such as lack of food, transportation, housing, medication costs, and so much more. My name is Kelly. Whenever you speak with one of our CHWs, you will never be charged because here at COMC, your health is our mission. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Hey, 
Hey, we've got another great Lake TV Community Spotlight show brought to you by COMC this week. We've got Jill Dernan with us. She is the director of LCTC. That's the Lake Career and Technical Center, uh, teaching kids and even adults uh, how to be ready for a working life and a successful working life. So join us. It's the Community Spotlight Show on Lake TV. Hi, I'm Kevin Hilly. I know the weather is getting warmer, but on this edition of Kevin Hilly's Talk of the Town, we're getting chilly. How do you feel about chili in a can? Well, I actually eat chili in a can. Do you really? No, yeah. I, I heard chili connoisseurs aren't all that happy about it. Well, I like it when people cook for me the chili. Then it's good. Yeah, I like that. But when I'm at home, it's chili in the can. You got any thoughts on chili in a can? If you have to. Last resort. <laughs> the apocalypse is hit or something, right? Maybe something like that, yeah. <laughs> I don't this is never by chili in a can. No, no. <laughs> well, I do, but this is a lot better. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that mentioned in the Bible? Is that a sin? It, 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 yes, it, it's in the Bible. Yes, you shall not tempt. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about chili in a can? No. I don't eat chili in a can, so I don't feel very good about it. <laughs> it's not natural, is it? It is not natural, no. How do you feel about chili in a can? It's all right with me. I, I can eat it. You ever had chili in a can? Oh. Well, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. You ever heard of chili in a can? You ever seen that? Yeah. How would you feel about that? No. Uh, no. Never, huh? No. <laughs> no, never. Mm, I'd rather do homemade. I wouldn't eat chili in a can if my life depended on it. <laughs> wow. Would you eat chili out of a can? I don't really know about that one. Mom's looking at me like she better not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I like chili in a can. Chili in a can. Yeah, well, there's not much I don't like to eat. <laughs> if they serve it up, you're going to eat it. Yeah, it's true. Is is white chicken chili a thing? It is now. No, I don't think so. Uh, how about white chicken chili? You ever heard of that? I've had that before. Yeah. Is it good? That's good. That's yeah, good. yeah, it really is. I've had that before, yeah. I mean, not here, but I've had it before. That's what I'm giving up. You, you got it right here? Yeah. White chicken chili. Oh, that's good. You like that, huh? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you know, I think I've had that. I think I've had some white chili at some point, but. Yeah, I've tried a couple here today. Pretty good? Yeah, they're decent. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Really? That's, that's sort of what my my recipe that I make. Okay. Uh, white chicken chili is uh, one of my favorites. I love making it. Uh, and as a, like I said, as an amateur chef, I try other people's recipes and then I see what I can do to make it better. But I always come back to my recipe and I love doing it because it makes people smile. Hey, Donald, is it Donald, right? Donald P. P, like in Peter. Peter, yeah. Got it. Are you 91 years old? Is that right? Yeah, 91 and still having fun. Yeah, you've had a lot of chili in your life, I bet. Oh, I have yeah. a lot of chili. All right, Donald, let me ask you, what's the weirdest chili you ever had? The strangest ingredient, whatever, you can think of? No, oh, I don't think I've ever had any strange. It's all been good. It's all been good chili. Yeah, except for the one that had a cat's tail in it. What's the weirdest thing you've seen in a chili? That you, you look at it and you go, that's not, you don't put that in chili. Well, I don't know. There was some kind of creature one year that they put in the chili and I I, did, I just couldn't Did do you it. say a creature? That's yes, right. It wasn't burger. It was some kind of animal. It was the creature alive? No, it wasn't. Thank goodness. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, no, no. Uh, I think there's a spinach chili here uh, down the road, so. Oh, I don't know. Like, for instance, maybe... Um, uh, like, um, I don't know, like, uh, uh, alligator. Alligator chili. Alligator chili. What, Father, what's the weirdest chili you ever uh, had? You ever heard of me? Deer chili. Really? Yes. Like, made with venison? Yeah. Yeah, they, they fed me some deer chili. And I thought it was rather good. Of course, I've been drinking all afternoon. <laughs> Vegetarian chili. What's that got? No meat. 
Uh, Asian chili. Asian chili. What does that have in it? Well, it has... Egg rolls or... No. <laughs> All right, you've probably seen a few weird chilies in your life. What's the oddest chili that you have ever seen? Uh, the oddest chili that I have ever seen, I would say it was a true hatch chili made with elk meat. And... Elk? Elk meat, yes. From You mean the guys that live in the tree that make the cookies? Oh, no, not the elves. The elk. Oh, elk, As excuse me. I thought you meant the Keebler elves. I go, those poor little guys, what do they do? You know? Hey, that's another edition of Kevin Hilly's Talk of the Town. I can't resist. I'll talk to you on the radio Monday through Friday, 5.30 to 10 on 94.3 Cat Country and 101.9 The Wave from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on another edition of Kevin Hilly's Talk of the Town on Lake TV. Want a dock that will withstand the wake from a million boats? Want a dock that's different from the usual dock? Then you want Ozark Barge and Dock in Gravois Mills. Ozark Barge and Dock now celebrating 35 years of building the best dock on Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. So when it comes time to build your custom dock, trust the best and go with Ozark Barge and Dock, building the best dock at the lake for the last 35 years. The exclusive attraction of Happy Hour is Ozarks Amphitheater, and they have a great lineup of bands coming out this summer. First of all, I want to let you know Thursday, May 11th, Breaking Benjamin with special guest Bush and Another Day Don's fantastic show lineup. Also Friday, June 16th, we have the Avett Brothers with special guest Government Mule. You can get your tickets right now online at OzarksAmp.com. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Lake TV's got it all. We think it's hot stuff when things cool down. We spring into action when things start warming up. Of course, summer is one big huge shootout on Lake TV. And we fall in love all over again when autumn rolls around. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, Lake TV's got it all. Don't miss this week's cup of coffee from Slumberland at the lake. Of course, no Uncle Chris. I got my good buddy, J.R. Hartenstein. Yeah, join us because we're going to delve into what makes Camden County so fun in their opposition to Washington, D.C. Yeah, and the ATF. We'll tell you about that pretty big deal. Plus, I'll have Connie Hendricks-Jones with the Forget Me Not Horse Rescue and Sanctuary. That and a whole lot more on this week's cup of coffee. Hey everyone, Daryl Cunningham with Slumberland Furniture at the Lake. We're in the middle of our spring spruce up sale. What does that mean for you? That means savings for every room of your house. Also check out our tent. Still have tons of great outdoor living furniture at a great price. At Slumberland, we're still doing interest-free financing along with our great deals. Come see us, Slumberland Furniture, where we're bringing happy home. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Welcome to another Furry Friends presented by our veterinary here on Lake TV. I'm Megan Albers. This is uh, Mary Meow Me Tilly. 
And these are two adorable, very cuddly, very lovey cats. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Chippendale. Chip and Dale. I have Chip, Chip and, Dale. and you have Dale. There you and go. And they are brothers. They came from the same, they may not look like it, but they came from the same household. We were told that they were acquired at the same time. Okay. So we, whether or not they actually came from the same mother, they've lived their whole lives together. Okay. Um, we are not necessarily requiring that they be adopted together, but it sure would be nice to keep, yeah. them, keep them together if possible. Um, so Chip and Dale, all right, I'm going to let you up there. Good boy. <laughs> All right. We've so been holding them for a while <laughs> off camera, so we, we've maybe, uh, you know, reached worn, our limit worn for out the, of, yeah, worn the out holding. The mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so Chip and Dale and another kitty named Milo, who has already been adopted, okay. uh, came to us. Uh, we had somebody call us who was a landlord, said they went to go, um, went to go find out why their, why their renters hadn't paid their rent and, and discovered that they had moved out without notification. Oh! And they, when they went to go clean up the property and everything, they found that there were three cats on the property. So okay. they started asking the neighbors and everything, and the kids in the neighborhood were able to tell them that this was Chip and Dale and Milo, mm -hmm. and approximately how long that they had had them, and, and, and you know when they had taken them in. They were indoor cats that when the people left, apparently, for whatever reason, they couldn't or didn't take them with them, okay. and they dumped them outside. And that is never a good thing to do with indoor kitties because no. when kitties have been indoors their whole lives, they don't really know how to hunt and fend for themselves yeah. in the wild. And fortunately, it sounded like the neighbor kids were taking care of them, okay. you know, making sure they got food and everything in the meantime. But, you know, don't, if, if you have to leave, you know, and not be able to take your pets with you, the worst thing to do is to dump them outside. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so I know sometimes the resources are limited. All the rescues in the Midwest yeah. area are so overwhelmed right now, including us. Uh, but, you know, everybody needs to work together and try to figure out a solution because, you know, if the landlord hadn't come over when they did, mm -hmm. um, you know, the longer these cats were outside, they're susceptible to predators and all. Yeah. And they, you know, there's possibility we might not be seeing them today. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. But little Milo, he found a home uh, about a week or so ago, and uh, Chip and Dale are still here waiting for their forever home. Yeah, and they're they're super cuddly, like mm -hmm. we said. Um, <laughs> they you know they have a limit, as all cats do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cuddly Con and consent playful. Consent is important. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh goodness. So um, um, I know you ideally would like to see them go together, but it's not necessarily a requirement. Right. Per they're they're are not so bonded of a pair that okay. we that we are making that a, a necessity. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes we do. Uh, it's, it's it's pretty rare that we have one that's that's so bonded that mm -hmm. we can't separate them at all. Yeah. Um, you know, they lived with another cat, and they're here in our adult cat room where everybody's out and free roaming. So you know, they've been doing great in here. So if you have other cats at home and we're looking for a buddy for one of them, uh, you know, one of these guys may be the perfect fit. Yeah, or both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ideally. Um, so of course, you can apply to adopt these guys at uh, OzarksCatAndCanine.com, and of course, you can stop by the shelter mm -hmm. and meet one or both of them and then maybe take both of them home um <laughs> you and we we do give a little discount if you adopt a pair oh so with with cats it's 40 for one or 60 for a pair i mean <laughs> you're saving money so it, it's like it, with cats it's like a bogo what's yeah. one cat <laughs> and what's two cats if you already have one right <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll keep each other entertained mm -hmm. um, and their buddies. So you guys have a fundraiser coming up, correct? Yes, we do. Uh, so we have a big event planned for June 30th. That's a Friday night. Okay. It's going to be held at the Encore in Lake Ozark. Uh, we are hoping that this is going to go over so well that we will be able to make it an annual event. Yeah. Uh, we're calling it Pause for Paws mm -hmm. 2023. <laughs> Getting that date yes. in there so we can we can push yep. forward and try to I'm already planning on wanting Plan to do it. another one next year. <laughs> yep. Uh, we are going we have wristbands on sale at the shelter building and okay. at the thrift store for twenty dollars each. 
Um, so my understanding is that you don't actually need a wristband to get into the event. Okay. It's going to be in the air, in an area of the Encore that is, is open to the public. You will be able to come in. But the, what the wristband is going to get you is uh, we're going to be doing uh, prize drawings throughout the night. Okay. Um, potentially multiples each hour because it just depends on um, how many prizes we get and everything, yeah. how many donations we get. Um, so the, your wristband gets you an entry into the prize drawing, and it gets you access to the hors d'oeuvres. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're real excited Yum. about we're, we're all very food motivated around oh, here, yeah. so we're excited about that part yeah. of it. Um, there's going to be a cash bar. There's okay. going to be music by the Dueling Pianos. Nice. Uh, that I guess are a feature there at uh, the Encore. Um, we're going to have a silent auction throughout the evening, and we've got already got some. We're, we're taking donations, um, you know, looking for things to, to auction off or to be prizes. We've already got some some pretty exciting silent auction prizes. Cool. There's some boat rides and stuff going nice. on. So you know, we're hoping to have you know be able to make a lot of money off of that. Yeah. Uh, the wristbands themselves are basically going to pay for the the food and the, mm -hmm. the event and everything. Uh, you know, and the silent auction is where we're going to make them. Yeah. The money from and then also as they're coming in if they have a wristband and they bring in a 10 pound or larger bag of dog or cat mm -hmm. food and drop it off uh, we're gonna, I think we're gonna have the van at the door for that and if they drop that off they'll get an extra ticket into the prize draw oh, nice so one there per you person go there and so you have an, an opportunity to to help out the animals help out our food barn and get you know an extra extra prize entry. Well, good. And uh, so I'm assuming you guys are still looking for uh, some donations for yes, auction items yes, and stuff? Yeah, we'll be looking for donation. We'll take donations probably all, you know, almost all the way up till yeah. the actual day of the yeah. event. Um, yeah, so if you have anything that you're, uh, uh, sir, I know we've got some people who are donating like uh, two-hour cleaning services, nice. uh, things like that. We've got some, I think there's a Scentsy basket getting donated, some, you know, different, mm -hmm. different item, you know, basket items and things. Um, so anybody who has anything that they want to donate, if they want to just call us here at the shelter okay. and then we can put them in touch with a board member to see about um, getting that picked up or dropped off and, and, and okay. then we will, um, I'm compiling a list of everybody and we, throughout the month of June we will be uh, giving everybody who's donated a shout out oh, on social media and everything to thank them for what they've done. Awesome, that's cool. And then where can people get the wristbands? The wristbands are here at the shelter building or okay. at the thrift store, uh, come in in person. It's cash only, okay. $20 each. And then uh, you can call the Encore. Uh, their number's on our little flyer, and I, you've got a copy of that, so mm -hmm. we can put that up during this filming, yeah. uh, that they can uh, call the Encore and find out how to go about, who to, who to contact there to okay. see about getting one there if they're on the other side of the lake. All right. Sounds good. Um, I hope it's a huge success. I think it will too. be. It <laughs> yeah. sounds fun. It sounds like you guys are doing good, but uh, of course they can always use donations mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. of you know things to give away, um, the auction, all of that stuff. Uh, you can find all the details on that fundraiser and details about how to adopt a furry friend at ozarkscatandcanine.com. Mary, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Always. It's, it's always, it's always a pleasure. the best part. <laughs> yes, I love it. It's fun. That is it for another Furry Friends presented by our veterinary here on Lake TV. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Ozarks Amphitheater, the exclusive attraction of Happy Hour. Some great shows coming up. Breaking Benjamin with special guest Bush and Another Day Dons. That's happening Thursday, May 11th. Mark your calendars. Also, we have the Avid Brothers. They're coming Friday, June 16th. Special guest Government Mule. 
Tickets are on sale right now at OzarksAmp.com. Go get them. Hey everyone, Daryl Cunningham with Slumberland Furniture at the Lake. We're in the middle of our spring spruce up sale. What does that mean for you? That means savings for every room of your house. Also check out our tent. Still have tons of great outdoor living furniture at a great price. At Slumberland, we're still doing interest-free financing along with our great deals. Come see us, Slumberland Furniture, where we're bringing happy home. If it's happening at the lake, it's happening on Lake TV. From the Polar Plunge... to festivals, parades, Aquapalooza, and boat shows, Lake TV has it all. Even the granddaddy of them all, the shootout. If you're looking for places to party, things to do, or even a new home to move into, you've got to love Lake TV. Join Lake TV every Tuesday and Friday evening at 8.30 for the Lake TV Classic Game of the Week. You'll see some of the greatest games featuring the Lakers, Indians, Mustangs, Tigers, and Pintos from over the years. Join us Tuesday and Friday evening for the Lake TV Classic Game of the Week. Thank you again for joining us on Happy Hour on Lake TV. I've had a fantastic time. I want to say thanks to uh, our guest, Kara Gerdeman. Thank you so much for being on the show. Kevin Hilly, always a fun time watching your segments. And Megan for that furry friends. I'm pretty sure that Megan probably pocketed one of those cats. I'm, I don't know. But also want to say thanks to all of our sponsors, our veterinary for bringing us that furry friends. Ozark Barge and Doc, thank you for your support of Lake TV and Happy Hour. Ozark's Amphitheater, they're our exclusive attraction of Happy Hour. And our good friends at Sir Dyke Yamaha for year-round fun. And let me tell you, we have year-round fun. And next week on the show on Happy Hour, we get to hang out with our good friends at Sir Dyke Yamaha and hit the trails with those side-by-sides. Such a fun time. So make sure you tune in next week on the show. Check out that, uh, that segment. Also, Constance Hoffman, we're going to be sitting down with her talking about Central Ozarks Medical Center and all the things that they are involved in. And we get to sample some of the finest food at Swallowtail Farms Food Truck. All of that and so much more right here on the Happiest Hour on TV. It's Happy Hour with DJ Kyle on Lake TV.